What's up guys, welcome to episode 1 of Bonnie Inku's Blood Rage painting series. Today we're going to be painting the Wolf Clan, including the Wolf Clan leader and all 8 warriors. To start off, I gave them all a solid coat of Vallejo's Polyurethane Ghost Gray Primer. Now this is the first time I've actually used this gray primer and compared to the black primer, it's pretty even as far as airbrushing goes. However, as far as applying this primer with a brush, it doesn't apply quite as well as the black one. So if you're going to be priming using a brush, I highly recommend using the black one and then doing a gray or white undercoat like we've done in all the Arcade Quest videos. I then applied Nolan oil to all the wolf pelts, arm guards, and wolf head on the captain's staff to start popping out all those details. After giving the wash plenty of time to dry, I applied a heavy dry brush of Bone White. I then applied Seraphim Sepia to the inner areas of the wolf pelts, arm guards, and staff head to start adding a bit of color, contrast, and variation. Next I grabbed my Agrax Earthshade and applied it to the center of all the areas just shaded to darken them down one step further and punch up that contrast. I then dry brushed dead white on the outer and upper parts of the fur, on the wolf heads, and on the head of the staff. I also use this color to pick out all the eyes and the teeth of all the wolf heads. Next I mix together a 1 to 1 mix of red ink and raccoon flesh shade and apply it to the lower half with the fur on the staff head. Then when that shade had fully dried, I applied red ink to the very ends of the fur. Next I applied pale flesh to all the skin areas and like most skin tones this took 2 or 3 coats to get solid coverage. I then washed the skin using a 1 to 1 mix of Seraphim Sepia and Reichland Flesh Sade.
Once that wash had fully dried, I came back with Pale Flesh to do the highlighting. Next, I base coated the pants of Wolf Warriors number one using Dark Sea Gray. I then base coated all the belts and leather parts on all the models using a one to one mix of ochre brown and earth. Then I base coated the shafts of the axes and the staff using Model Air Wood. For this I could have used Ochre Brown, but I really wanted to try out this Model Air color. So for those of you that don't have this color, no worries, Ochre Brown is practically the same. In fact, I actually recommend using Ochre Brown over using this Model Air Wood because I feel like it has better coverage. I then applied Burnt Umber to the sheaths, belts, and anything that will be later painted gold. I next painted the sword hilts, tips of the sheaths, and some of the metal bands using polished gold. Here you may actually notice I missed the bottom part of the sword hilt. That's because I didn't realize it was actually part of the sword, so later on I realized this and came back and fixed it. I then applied Agrax Earthshade to start bringing out all those details in all the areas that were just base coated. I then re-established the gold highlights using polished gold. Next I base coat all the cloth and the wood sections of all the Warrior 2 shields using a 2 to 1 mix of bloody red and purple. Then I washed down all that red using Caribou Crimson. For the first highlight, I picked out all the raised areas of the cloth and the upper half of the shield using Bloody Red. Then for the second highlight, I used Scarlet and focused this highlight on the very centers of the previous highlights and on the upper quarter of the shields.
with the cloth and leathers now completed, I went back with some polished gold and picked out some of the medallions. Then just like before, I grabbed a little Agrix Earthshade and put a dab on each of those medallions to bring out some of the details. Next I base coated all the axes, swords, and spears using model air gunmetal. I then used model air steel to highlight the swords and the spears, as well as base coat the remaining medallions, armor pieces, and shield emblems. Next I used blue to base coat the pants of the clan leader and warrior number 2 as well as the plume on warrior 2's helmet. I then gave all that blue a nice wash of Drakenhof Nightshade. For the first highlight, I applied medium blue to all the raised areas of the pants and the upper sections of the plume. For the second highlight, I used magic blue and applied this kind of like an edge highlight by focusing it on the very outer sections of those raised areas as well as the very tops of the plume. I then applied known oil to all the silver parts except the swords and the spears. I then apply some highlights with Model Air Steel.
I then finished off all the helmets by painting that little fox head with brass. After completing this step, apart from painting the base, all the Warrior 2s are now complete. Next I used Dark Sea Grey to paint the hair and the beards of all the Warrior 1s. I then used light gray to pick out all the details of the hair and highlight the wolf head. Next I turned my attention to the clan leader and painted his hair and his beard using hot orange. I then finished off his hair by giving it a wash of Reichlin Flesh Shade. Then, for the final detail, I painted all the claws with bone white and gave them a wash of Agrax Earthshade. And as the final step, I painted the bases black. And there you have it, the Wolf Clan is now complete. Thank you guys for joining, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in painting your own Blood Rage. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and head over and check out my Patreon page where you can get early access to each tutorial, as well as exclusive access to additional Bond and Inku content including sneak peeks, works in progress, and detailed PDF painting guides. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by stabbing that like button below and leaving a comment letting me know which of these models is your favorite and why. Wolf Clan complete! Wanderoo! Oh!